I further give the explanations by Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharishi about self realization or atam shakshatkar this will be in the form of questions put by devotees to maharishi and thereby reply by the maharishi question what is the self referred to in atma संस्थान फिक्सिंग इट इन द सेल्फ महर्षि रिप्लाइज डू यू नॉट नो योर सेल्फ यू सर्टनली एग्जिस्ट और डू यू डिनाई योर एग्जिस्टेंस द क्वेश्चन मे अराइज हु इज द सेल्फ ओनली इफ यू डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट बट यू कैनॉट आस्क एनीथिंग अनलेस यू एग्जिस्ट एट द सेम टाइम your question shows that you exist find out who you are that's all next question i have read many books but my mind does not turn to the self mercy ramna replies because the self is not in the books but it is in you reading books makes one learned that is its purpose and it is fulfilled question what is atma sakshatkara self realization maharshi replies you are the atma self and that sakshat here and now also where is the place for kara accomplishment in it this question shows that you think you are the non self or you think that there are two selves the one to realize the other it is absurd that you identify yourself with the cross body lies at the root of this question well this question arises now did it arise in your sleep did you not exist then certainly you did exist in sleep what is the difference between these two states that the question should arise now but not in sleep now you think that you are the body you see things around you and you want to see the self in a similar manner such is the force of habit the senses are mere instruments of perception you are the seer remain as the seer only what else is there to see such is the state in deep sleep therefore this question does not arise then atma sakshatkara self realization is thus only anatma nirasana giving up the non self atam sakshatkara that is self realization mind and senses try their best to get you emerged in maya all the time it is as difficult as making ganga river to flow back to its source to make the mind rest on atma by repeatedly training the mind through omkara or gayatri mantra or rama nama japa restless mind should be made to concentrate on atma to achieve peace of mind happiness bliss in this life and also to avoid repeated birth death cycle shruti says atma va are drishtavya srotavya manthavyo nidhi dhyasnatvya yajan valkya tells to his wife maitri that atma only to be seen heard repeated in mind 
concentrated on it take back the mind inside you to hear the where atma is seemingly located repeated effort patience determination renunciation and intense bhakti should take over you the self is without thought make it impossible for the thought oriented mind to think at all causing the mind to get settled on the self let not the mind to think anything else we have to meditate always on the self which is beyond the reach of the mind and extolled as the supreme bliss we have been brought up from our childhood to pray god as if he is outside us as source of supreme power and he will grant whatever we pray for this thought has to be wiped out and in its place i am atma that is brahma i am shiva has to be firmly established all places all directions all times are conductive for the sadhana practice of yoga of self differences of caste social status gender cannot cause any difference in the progress knowledge and experience of this yoga just as color of milk is white color of cows many now the question arises as to how antah karna mind is able to experience self experiencing self is definitely possible as we have seen many saints talk about that experience and from their experience many others are getting guided towards this illumination following shloka from karika of sri godapajaacharya shankaracharya's gurus guru says atma satyanu bhodena na sankalpayate yada emanastham tadha yathi grahya bhave thada graham if one gets the knowledge of that soul is real satya mind will not give any sense of form then mind becomes mindless emanas because mind's sensing faculty and its result both will vanish there is no shape or form to sense when concentrating on self hence mind becomes incapable to grasp or stick to any form and becomes mindless we can observe a similar situation during deep sleep also when mind rests on prana thus in mindless state everything is seen as atma only and nothing else which is called amnastva mind merges in atma then the so called atma sakshatkara takes place in the case of a yogi who has accomplished kundalini jagrati samadhi state remaining as atma is easy as mindless state is achieved instantly and repeatedly depending on his duration of meditation and frequency as mentioned earlier atma is always shakshat here and now kara accomplishment is always there hence irrelevant as i am only atma and there is nothing in between blocking it word sakshatkara gives wrong usage as i am experienced by myself 
other forms of worship bathing in holy water japa or name oblations to fire as sacrifice none of these are needed fruits of dharma or adharma water oblations to forefathers none of these are for him highest level of purushartha achievement in human birth is the experience of self please note there is nothing else need be known or achieved other than this the face of the person who has experienced atma shines bright and remains peaceful he is beyond maya and not affected by it maya is the source of all action no action need be performed as he is action less and liberated he has attained awareness so this is the brief explanation by ramana maharishi to achieve the phenomenon of self realization leading to liberation thank you for watching this video namaskar